This apple here is the quintessential Maine apple. This is a Macintosh. Inside this Mac, there are seeds. And if you want to obtain a Macintosh tree, you cannot do it by the seed because every seed will yield some new apple, something that has never been before, just like you and me. All of us have two biological parents and we are similar to both of them, but we are not identical to either of them. If the Macintosh seed does not come true to type, how are we gonna get more Macintosh trees? Well, we do that by grafting. And when you graft, you take a tiny piece of the variety that you want to replicate and you splice it onto a tree with roots. That's called the rootstock. And here we have a graft that I did this past spring. That right there is the piece that I grafted on. That's called the scion, S-C-I-O-N. And this is the splice I made, the graft. And this is what it grew this year. What I wound up doing was creating a library of varieties. And on each tree, if I found a rare variety that I thought I needed to save, then I would graft it onto a branch. This is your cyan wood for next spring. This is enough to do maybe one, two, three. You could get four or five grafts, new trees, out of just this stick. So each one of these uh, represents another graft. This tree has multiple varieties on it, but it's primarily on the top is Northern Spy. This apple here is Roxbury Russet and makes fabulous applesauce. This apple is yellow bellflower. This is Black Oxford. It keeps really well in the root cellar. This apple is called Redfield. I particularly love for its winter applesauce. I combine it with Roxbury Russet and the two together make a fabulous applesauce. This is not a dessert apple, so it's a bit tart, but it does make a wonderful pie and a wonderful sauce.